These are my completely custom in-ear monitors. They're Shure 535, so they're just your standard in-ear monitors, but it only cost me $200 to make them pretty much completely custom. I've had these exact in-ear monitors since March 2022, where I started playing live for the first time, and they have served me very well. Recently, I went through the process of getting these custom molded to my ears specifically, and yes, again, it only cost $200 to do so, and it can make any set of Shure in-ear monitors pretty much custom. You can get in-ear monitors these days for a fairly inexpensive price. I'm pretty sure these 535s here, I think they're around 450, 500 Australian. And I think you can get the 215s for about 100, 150 American as well. But on the other side of the spectrum, there are those completely custom options that sometimes cost three, four, five. I've seen some that cost $12,000 because they have, you know, 18 drivers and they're custom molded to your ears and all that stuff. And, you know, while that's really, really nice, and I'm sure they sound absolutely phenomenal, I much probably like you, I'm not in the position to spend thousands of dollars on in-ear monitors. In saying that though, one of the biggest reasons as to why those really expensive custom in-ear monitors sound really good is because of the seal that they get around your ears. The process of getting that custom impression done to make sure that those in-ear monitors are in your ears as best as they can be is what makes in-ear monitors sound really, really good. Having a perfect seal in your ears allows for a tighter bass response and it allows for the in-ear monitors to actually work as intended. And obviously, you know, there's less bleed and stuff like that. So you you're not going to get as much noise on stage if you're playing and all that stuff. For me, that's absolutely huge. I have a perforated eardrum in my right ear and I just want to make sure that I don't need to crank the volume of my in-ear monitors when I'm playing on stage. So the next best thing that I can do is make sure that they're as isolated as possible so I don't have to destroy my ears any more than they actually are anyway. I'm making a video on this because I don't think a lot of people actually know that you can do this where you can just get custom sleeves made for, you know, your generic name brand Shure in-ear monitor headphones and really just elevate the sound of them to a new level. Honestly, like it was night and day when I got these done and I don't think I'm ever going to have another set of in-ear monitors without a custom mold on them ever again. These sleeves in particular were made by Pacific Ears, a company based in Australia. But if you're not based in Australia, there are plenty of other companies around the world that probably offer a similar service to this. The process is as simple as follows. You go to their website, you select the custom sleeve option and make sure that you're picking ones that are compatible with your in-ear monitor headphones. You can select the design or whatever. I just wanted a clear one because I find that when it's in my ears, sometimes when you have like a really crazy color or something like that it's very noticeable that you have in-ear monitors in your ears um, but i don't really want that kind of like the more sleek more flush kind of look so having the clear ones just you know makes everything blend in a little bit better and plus it's easier to see all the earwax on there when i'm cleaning it after once that's selected you will then find the closest ent partner that pacific ears work with for me it was right in the city of adelaide it was not even a 10 minute drive away where you will then just book an appointment organize a time like you would with any other appointment um, and this is all in included in the price. You don't need to pay separately to get the impression done. The 200 to $250 Australian range. So again, that's probably like what 150 to 180 USD um, that you would spend on these custom molds includes the actual impression getting done plus the actual making of the molds themselves. That is the exact process that my bassist kind and my drummer Steven and I went through when we went to get our ears impression to get the custom molds done. It was kind of cute. It was like a little date. We all got our ears clean. We all got the impression done sitting in there getting like that weird like putty put in your ear. It feels very weird. Um, doesn't hurt at all. It's actually kind of soothing. And one important thing to know is that we got our impression done with a bite block where you bite onto something while the impression is getting taken. And the reason being is because, you know, when we're moving around on stage, we're always moving, smiling, laughing, whatever. Um, when you open your mouth, your ear canals actually get a little bit bigger and the shape of it changes a little bit. So when you're getting that impression done, it's a good idea to have a bite block down um, just so that it kind of compensates for that as well. So you get the best of both worlds. The impression will work when your mouth is closed and the impression will work um, when your mouth is open. And that's pretty much exactly the case when I put these on. So you can see now I'm putting them on very effortlessly. They're sitting very flush into my ears. It does not hurt at all. And, you know, I can tell I've done tests before. I've had Stephen, you know, hit a china right behind me and I've opened my mouth like this and had it closed and there's been no difference. There's been no bleed going into my ears whatsoever. And that is exactly what I wanted because again, I have a perforated eardrum. I need to have my hearing I don't ever want to lose it. The entire process of getting that impression done um, was probably about 30 to 45 minutes. And then less than two weeks later, if that, um, they arrived at the door and I just simply put them onto my 535s because there's like a perfect little hole that they slip onto. So you can see here, it's literally just as easy as this. So this is my 535 actual driver. And there's like a tiny little hole there and you literally just put it in 
and that's it. And then it just slips into your ears and fits your ear canal perfectly. Pacific Ears were kind enough to actually sponsor this video because they did cover the cost of getting the impressions done and the molds made for me and my bandmates. But I actually had another pair of custom molds done a little while ago, probably over a year ago now, and that I paid for myself, but I got another one redone to have the open buy impression because that was one thing that I was noticing that was missing with those initial impressions that when I opened my mouth on stage, it would get a little bit of bleed. But now that is not a problem at all because we used the bite block when we got the impression done. If you're looking for that custom in-ear monitor seal and experience without spending the thousands of dollars on custom in-ear monitors, those custom sleeves are pretty much as good as it gets. And in my experience, they are absolutely amazing and I cannot talk highly of them enough. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.